What's up, folks? Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com, and today we're going to be talking about the famous LTP 5000D. And the reason, the reason I say it's famous is because this is the machine that has all the hype. This is the machine I get the most questions about. Everybody wants to know, is this a good buy? And the reason they ask that is because it's got good performance. It's got a lot of good features. The price is under 500 bucks. And it just is the best seller on Amazon for that reason. And so many questions pop up. So I'm making this video today to give you guys my overall view of this machine, give you the pros, give you the cons, and tell you where the value is and whether or not it's worth buying. Spoiler alert, it's pretty badass for the price. So links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the video description. So refer to that uh, if you need those links. So let's talk about why the LTP 5000D is so popular. Well, it has a lot of capability and a lot of functionality for a very cheap price. This, in my opinion, is honestly the best machine under a thousand bucks. If I had a budget of a thousand dollars, I'd be purchasing this machine and putting the rest, the, the the other 500 right into my pocket because you really can't get a lot more value as you go up in price up to about a thousand bucks. Your next big step is going to be the Hobart 27i and that starts around 1300. That's going to be kind of your next big step. Okay. So if your budget's a thousand dollars and that's a firm budget, get the Lotus LTP 5000D. So what does this machine do well? Well, first off, it's dual voltage. So it's adaptable to a variety of environments, depending on what you have available to you and where you have the machine at. You can run dual voltage. You can run it on 110 standard plug, or you can run it on a 220 plug. Um, in order to run 110, you do have to purchase a separate pigtail adapter. And like I said, I'll post a link for this. Um, this adapter is about 30 bucks and it basically just converts the plugs and uh, really easy. So make sure you get that. It is not included with the machine. So you have to buy that separate if that's something that you want. Okay, so it has dual voltage, which is something you find in a lot of more expensive machines like the PowerMax 30 XP, which is like 1500 bucks, the 27i, which is like 1300 bucks. So dual voltage, really, really good, nice to have. The next thing, Pilot Arc huge huge feature i cannot stress this enough using a plasma cutter without pilot arc is kind of a pain it really sucks and you know if, if that's all you can afford you know if you can only afford a 250 dollars plasma cutter and you don't have pilot arc well you know you got to do what you got to do but if you have the option to get pilot arc it is a very nice feature for anybody who doesn't know what pilot arc is it allows you to start the torch without touching the tip of the torch to the metal what this allows you to do is to position your cuts easier. You can pull the cut into the metal. You're not going to get a lot of blowback and sparks shooting into your face before it penetrates, uh, before the torch is able to penetrate the metal when you start cutting. Um, also, you can shave off edges very easily with Pilot Arc. There's just a lot of really good uh, applications to having that feature. And there's a reason why all the most expensive plasma cutters have Pilot Arc because it's incredibly useful. So I would say 99% of Chinese plasma cutters do not have pilot arc. The Lotus LTP 5000D does have pilot arc. And that's really what sets it apart from the competition. And I would say probably one of the biggest features you're going to find in this machine that uh, just knocks the competitors out of the water in this price bracket. Okay. And then last but not least, I thought I never thought I would say this, but... The Lotus brand has come a long way in the past like five years, okay? I used to watch this machine and I thought, man, you know, this is just another Chinese machine. It's going to disappear just like all the other ones. If you're not familiar, there's a lot of Chinese manufacturers that make plasma cutters and they do so for maybe a few months or a year and then the brand just kind of disappears and you never hear from them again, okay? And that's a lot of those machines that are labeled Cut 50D. Well, Lotus is different. They've actually been around they actually have a really good market share. This is a this is the second version of this machine. The first one was a bright red color. So they've been working on the machine, they've been refining it, and it's actually come a long way. So it coming from Lotos is, if you're buying a Chinese machine, it's gonna give you a little bit more confidence because like I said, they do have a decent market share and the consumables and everything are gonna be available uh, for a while because there's a lot of people that have this machine and there's gonna be people buying the consumables. So that is good. 
Speaking of consumables, uh, this is both a pro and a con. Um, the consumables for these machines are actually very cheap, right? So it's a pro in terms of, hey, I can get a lot of consumables for cheap. It's also a con because they're not built to the highest quality, and that's going to result in your cuts to be just a little less precise. And we'll talk about that in a second. But as you can see here, a 22-piece kit for the low toast and you're talking 45 bucks. If you were to buy this for a Miller or a Hypertherm, you'd be easily over a hundred dollars. So something to keep in mind and just another kind of advantage to having a Chinese machine um, is cheaper consumables. But I will say they tend to burn out a little bit quicker. So you got to take it for what it is. Okay, so now let's talk about the cons, right? Realistically, what are you going to experience with this machine? What are the problems? Where is that extra thousand dollars coming from, right? From these more expensive machines? Well, first things first, the components are going to be made cheaper, okay? So if we take a look at the torch and things like that, everything that hooks into this machine, the machine itself, everything is going to be made in China. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. If you're a professional, it is very likely that this machine will not hold up to a harsh professional environment. You know, we know how hard these tools get worked and how much they get abused when they're used by professionals. This machine most likely will not fit that application. If you really are someone making a living with this machine, we highly recommend you spend an extra thousand dollars and go with a Hypertherm product or even a Hobart or a Miller would be fantastic. So that is one thing you have to think about. The components are not gonna be as high end. However, that comes with the price. You're saving a lot of money. The next con with this machine is going to be the cutting uh, capabilities okay so it does cut half inch it has a lot of power for the price i would say arguably the most power for the price of less than a thousand dollars out of most machines however what you're going to get with that is your cuts if you were to take this machine and put it head to head with the power max 30 and you were to cut the same exact piece of metal the power max 30 is going to have a little bit of a cleaner cut it's just going to look cleaner and nicer and if you cut with the low toast it's just going to be just ever so slightly a little bit of a wider cut and it's going to be a little bit rougher now this is not a huge deal for most people because most people don't necessarily need super precise cuts they just need to get the job done um and you know 30 seconds at a bench grinder or with a, a handheld grinder and you can clean it up make it look just like new these uh rough cuts will be more exaggerated on thicker pieces of metal so if you're cutting half inch you'll notice it more if you're cutting quarter inch you probably won't even hardly notice a difference okay so that's just one of the cons like i said you're getting you're getting budget performance here you're getting good performance but it's not everything that you're getting from a more expensive machine so just keep that in mind Overall, is this a good buy? Yes, it's actually a fantastic buy for what it is and the price that it costs. It's really, really good. It's actually amazing what this machine can do for the price. Um, there's no other machine out there that really comes close. Like I said, that pilot arc and that dual voltage is huge. Those are really good features. And this machine has a decent market share and there's a lot of people out there that are happy with it. I recommend you go on the Amazon page, read some of the reviews, you know, get an idea of what people think about it. But from our experience, it's a good machine. It'll get you started. If it fits your budget, you'll be really happy with it. And as long as you're not a professional, I think it will hold up just fine. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Be sure to check out our website, plasmacuttersreviews.com if you have any more questions or feel free to post them in the comments below. Um, our goal is to help you guys make a good, educated decision on your machine and anything that we can help you with, we would be glad to do so. So be sure to post comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.